What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Unlimited Podcast, where we help you maximize your creativity. I'm Izzy Lemons. Let's get into it. Musicians, producers, artists, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Unlimited Podcast, like I just said, where we help you maximize your creativity. I'm so glad that you could join me today. If it's your first time, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to the Unlimited family. I promise you, you're going to leave here with some great wisdom and some pretty nice gems for your creative journey. Look, if it's not your first time, I want to say welcome back. I appreciate your consistent support and tuning in and staying and keeping up with what's going on here at Unlimited Artistry. Speaking of which, y'all, this week is the Unlimited Podcast's first birthday. Y'all, the Unlimited Podcast has been here for a year and we're going strong and we're going to keep pushing forward. But I want to say, I have to say, Thank you so, so much for your continued support for all the downloads all over the world. Like we have listeners outside of just the U.S. Like, man, it's so amazing to see how far this message in this podcast is spreading. I just want to say thank you for all the shares, for your listening, for your support, for all the comments under the posts and the reviews that are left on the podcast and and all that kind of stuff, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all and I'm excited for this next year. So with that being said, this episode marks the start of season two of the unlimited podcast look we're doing new things this year in 2023 we're gonna you're gonna see some things start to change stay tuned it's gonna be an amazing year for the unlimited podcast and as a matter of fact whether you're listening on the podcast or watching on youtube leave a comment whether under the video on youtube or on instagram whatever leave a comment sharing your favorite episode of the unlimited podcast i'm really interested i want to know i want to know what works and if you guys have recommendations for next topics things that you want to hear you want to talk about leave a comment leave a review all that good stuff Okay, back to the first timers now. As a brief introduction, my name is Izzy Lemons and I've been a creative for over 14 years. And I reached a point in my life where everything came crashing down because I didn't know who I was or what I was created to do. But now I run this thing called Unlimited Artistry where we help you maximize your creativity by helping you understand your purpose, uncover your creative identity, and uncap your creative potential. We do all of this to reach a state of unlimited artistry, you get it, (laughs) which is using our creative gifts in the way that they were intended. So I know you're here to grow. I know you're here to stick with it. So I'm excited for you. Stay tuned and we're going to get into it today. All right, y'all, we got to start off season two right. We're going to get real. We jumping right in. (laughs) I'm a full-time musician. Music is a gift that God has allowed me to use to take care of my family, right? And I think that this is a desire for many of us in the musician, producer, artist, everybody in between community. Most of us would say that if we had to choose between doing what we love to provide for us and and create our full income or go have a nine to five and just continue to do music on the side. Most of us with that true passion for what we do would much rather be full time in music. And I know because I was one of the people (laughs) that many of us have a misconception of what being in full time music really looks like and what that's like. And let's let's not get this wrong. A misconception isn't an insult. It isn't even meant to be disrespectful, but it's just a missed concept. Maybe it's something that we didn't see from the start, right? I can speak for myself. I just didn't see it in a certain way until I got in it. And then it, it it's not often taught the same way. Things change over time, right? But I think that we have a picture in in our minds of what 
full-time musicianship or full-time music looks like. And look, this that may be the picture for some of us, right? But that's often not the full picture, especially not for everyone. I'm thankful to have grown up around full-time musicians and to see how they maneuvered and managed and for them to be open and transparent about the struggles of it and about the amazing parts of it. So I want to help build a more full picture. I'm not going to say that I'm going to complete this picture for you, but to build a more full picture of what I've learned and come to understand as a full-time musician. So today's episode, we are talking three misconceptions of being full-time in music. All right, we're going to address them, y'all. You buckled in? Let's get into it. The first misconception of being full-time in music is that it's an easy lifestyle. I hope I'm not the first to tell you, but being a full-time musician is not an easy lifestyle at all. As a matter of fact, I would go as far as to say it is so much easier to just find a job that is not music-related and that, that'll bring in the money that you need to live and then do music on the side and you know still make income from that so that it can be a bonus to that. It is much easier to do that. But let's, let's think about our purpose in this, right? God has placed all these different gifts in us. And I believe that for some of us, he's called us to be full-time musicians. And some of us, he's called us to be part-time musicians or producers or artists, like whatever it is. That's something that I think we all need to think about before we try to jump into full-time I mean, really, full-time musicianship is full-time entrepreneurship, and there is nothing about that that is just easy, right? No matter how skilled you are, no matter how much of a business mindset you may have, it's, it's, it's a sacrifice. It's a true sacrifice, man. And I think that, that sometimes we think from the outside looking in, when we see full-time musicians, it looks like they just, all they do is go, they play, and they get paid, and then they go home, and they chill, and they're not doing anything else. But man, let me tell you, oftentimes, as full-time musicians, we are music business owners. Think of it that way. Being a business owner is not easy. It's not an easy lifestyle. I believe it's more complicated than just working a, a nine to five to be able to provide your needs. Let me put it in perspective. Even like maybe when you first start, you you may not have everything sorted in a way that you need to. Just like just like me, it took me some time to learn how to get things in order. And so doing things like buying a home or buying a car, like it takes a few more steps for us to get to that point where we, where outside sources can see like, okay, their income is dependable, all that, like you have to, there's a little bit more proving of yourself that has to come. I'll at least speak for the States, right? Like it, it gets a little bit more complex on that end. Y'all, it's, it's not the easiest lifestyle choice that you can make. And let me tell you this, it's not going to look the way you want it to in the very beginning. You're not just going to start and well, I'm not going to say this won't happen because this very well could happen. But for most people, you're not going to you're not going to get a gig with like one of the biggest artists in the world. And that's just going to take care of you for the rest of your life. That's that's not that's not how it works, sadly, as full time musicians. And I'll use that interchangeably with music business owners, because that's what we are as full time musicians. It's there, there's a double edged sword, right? We often have to make decisions for the sake of our income. We sometimes may have to do things that we don't really care for to be able to meet the needs. And that's something that you want to consider before you jump all the way into it. How serious and committed are you about and to music and doing music? Are you a performer? Like, how much do you really love that? How much longer can you actually see yourself doing that? Let's flip this misconception. Look, one of the things that makes it easier for me as a full-time musician is creating a vision. You need to paint a picture, a realistic picture of what you want your lifestyle to look like as a full-time musician. 
really think about, okay, how much can I realistically bring in on a monthly basis? Can I actually live off that? You also got to count in taxes and, and all those different types of things. Like, consider how much does it actually take for you to live and, and account for all the things that you need to pay so that you can continue to do what you love. Again, y'all, being a full-time musician is a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's really fun. It's super fulfilling. And sometimes we do things that we don't want to do and it's draining. <laughs> the question that you should ask yourself is how badly do you want it and is this really for you? So that first misconception of being a full-time musician is that it's an easy lifestyle. The second misconception is that you have to be famous for it to work. Oh my goodness. I mean, really, let's think about it. What does full-time musician really mean? It means that music makes up your full-time income. That's all it means. Music-related activities provide income for your household. That is it. It could be anything, anything involving music. Some of us have believed the lie that you have to have a million followers on Instagram and you have to you have to have a like a zillion views on YouTube in order for it to work. And yes, they can be beneficial, but they are not required for you to make a full-time income in music. If you know how to use that audience and those metrics to to convert into to people that need something from you and you provide a service or a product to them, and you're helping them, like, yeah, a million followers, a zillion views, all that kind of stuff. Like, yes, it's helpful, but it's not required. It's not required. So Izzy, if I don't need a zillion followers and a billion likes, what do I need? You need a musical skill. If you wanna be full-time in music, you need a musical skill. You don't have to be a world famous musician. You don't have to link with one of the biggest musicians. Like you don't have to find Drake and see if you can play maracas for him. Like it's not, <laughs> you don't need that. You need a musical skill. The key is finding what people need. What service do the musicians and artists and producers around you need that will, that will help them do what they need to do? Find the need in your community, in your region, in your area, whatever it is, find the need that exists. Another question that you can ask yourself is what other skills do I possess that can assist me in meeting a need for other musicians and producers and artists? Again, the biggest thing that you need is a skill that can help others with what they need. So what are you good at? What comes natural to you? What do you love to do? Use that to kind of push you into that zone, that sweet spot. Because once you find your niche, like you're going to be unstoppable. Another thing that kind of ties in with your niche is your creative identity. How, how has God formed you? What gifts were placed in you? What can you do to help others and serve others using your musical gifts? I'm gonna give you five things that you could possibly do using your musical skills to bring in income. You could teach music lessons to kids or even adults, experienced musicians that wanna learn or expand their knowledge on the instrument that you are an expert in. You could be a recording engineer and record local artists or bands or even authors that wanna record audiobooks. You could even be a producer or beat maker and create music for local artists, for television, and charge a fee. You could be a session musician. When somebody needs your instrument on their record, they can call you and you can play it and you charge them a fee for that. And look, some of us are even encouragers. So you could be a coach for artists or producers and musicians to get to where you've already been. Look, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a super bonus. You could even get into cataloging for sample libraries. So exporting and naming the files to be sent off to companies like Splice. Look, y'all, there's a world of possibilities for how you can make a full-time income in music. What are the skills that you have that you can use that others need? As a matter of fact, I want you to leave a comment or a review 
with your top three skills as a musical creative. But jumping back into it, y'all, you do not need to be a world famous musician or link with a world famous artist to create a full time income from music. That is a huge misconception. All right. So we're repainting that picture in our minds. If you believe that lie, get that out of your mind and let's focus on the future. What you do need is some sort of skill that can be used in the musical community to help others. So the second misconception that we're addressing is that you have to be famous to make a full-time income from music. The third and final misconception that we're gonna address today is that it's not a real career. This is a huge lie that a lot of us have taken and believed, whether it's based on our cultural upbringing, whether it's based on our own opinions and our parents' opinions and the people around us and what we see, y'all, this is not true at all. Music is a universal language. If you've seen the Grammys recently, you could see that there are people that speak different languages that we can all come together and enjoy music. Music is a universal language. Y'all, music is used in worship to God. Like, really think about that, y'all. Like, music is music ain't just something that we can just toss away and, and can live our lives completely without. It may be different, and the consumption of it may be different in this day and age, but, y'all, music is an essential part of life. There are even people, there are therapists that use music to change and alter the mental state of their patients. Y'all, music is an amazing tool and it's a gift. It's a gift. Music is everywhere and it can be extremely impactful and profitable. Y'all, do you realize that it just takes a little bit of intentionality to set it up, but music can create generational wealth for your family? It truly can. You just have to have all the knowledge that you can to be able to set that up in a way that works for your family. Man, I remember growing up and for a long time, I wanted to be a scientist, right? And I was so interested in science and in like chemical reactions and, and things of that nature. I think that's a part of the reason why I also enjoy cooking to this day, like because it's, it's a, there's a science thing tied into that. But I remember the moment when that desire switched. And later down the line, I was like 10 years old when this happened. But later down the line, I realized that in that moment, I had let go of what I thought I was wanting to do to please my family. And I started walking in what God was calling me to. Y'all, music is in my DNA. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know what I would be doing if if I wasn't in music right now. And not to say that God wouldn't have any other sort of purpose for my life, but given that I still have the same gifts, if I wasn't doing music and wasn't using those gifts, I would not feel as fulfilled. I wouldn't be able to impact as many people as. I currently have the ability to, I wouldn't even be here right now speaking to you through this podcast. Y'all, music is impactful. Music changes lives. I want you to close your eyes and think about one of your favorite albums or your favorite songs or even one of your favorite eras of music. Music marks very specific eras for me in my life. One in particular, the summer between eighth grade and ninth grade. I remember the music that was out and they're, it's, they're albums that I still listen to repetitively to this day. It was one of the songs that was on the radio. I'll give you three. It was Holy Grail by Jay-Z. It was Suit and Tie by Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z. And it was Tom Ford by Jay-Z. 
That's a lot of Jay-Z. I realize it was a lot of that going on over the summer. <laughs> but that that was that was an, an impactful summer. I remember a lot of those songs. I remember that era from that music. It just made you feel a way. And hearing certain songs makes me think back on riding in the car over the summer with the windows down and having the music blasting on the radio. Like, man, like music is powerful, y'all. Music is powerful. So it is a huge lie to believe that music isn't, isn't a good career to go into. Now figure out if it's for you because it's not for everybody. But that doesn't change the impact that you can have in people's lives through music. There are people, there are, and I know that this has happened most immediately because I've been watching a lot of Michael Jackson stuff lately. There are people whose lives have been changed because of the words that Michael Jackson said in songs. What makes you think that you can't do the same for somebody? You may not have as huge of an audience as Michael Jackson, right? But music speaks to people. It speaks to who it speaks to. Whoever receives your music should be able to receive your message and to hear and to relate or it'll help encourage them, like whatever it is. Music is a tool that can impact people's lives. I would go as far as to say just as much as being a doctor or a dentist or a scientist, whatever. Music is a career that should be taken seriously. As a young man in that same summer, I started to discover music production and I understood that I had a passion for it and I started trying to rebuild the songs that I was hearing and the songs that I loved because they meant so much to me. And that's what helped me get into music production, what I do primarily to this day. Man, and I recognize that during that time, as a, I would consider myself at that time as a junior producer, it's important to be surrounded by people that can show you the way, that can show you what you need to be able to do this full time if that's what you desire, that'll teach you the skills that you need to be to be profitable and to show to give you the lessons and the wisdom without having to go through all those hard experiences. I mean, and everybody goes through the hard experiences, but there are some that you can just avoid off of the right person telling you. <laughs> this is what we believe here at Unlimited Artistry and that is why Today, February 10th, 2023, we are launching the Junior Producers Coaching Program. Y'all, I have a passion for students, for people under the age of 18 who have a passion for music production and music in general. Man, I want to be there for you, for your junior producers as a teacher, as a guide that can help them get to the point where they want to be, which is being full-time in music. This is the life that I'm living right now, and I want to help others reach that point. In this program, junior producers will have weekly calls with me. I'll help them uncover their creative identity, and I'll show them how to use the tools used to create. Look, it's super important, not just for the rest of their careers, but for the rest of their lives, that they get hooked up with the right people that'll help them walk this journey out. So, if you know somebody under the age of 18 that is great with music production and has a passion for it and wants to learn and go for it, click the link below in the description. Sign up today. Y'all, I've had so much fun talking about these misconceptions with you. This is probably my favorite episode out of the 29 that we have. I still want you to leave comments below and tell me your favorite episodes. Um, it could be this one and I won't even be mad at that. <laughs> But y'all, just like I said in the beginning, here at Unlimited Artistry, we are passionate about helping you maximize your creativity. So we have some things that will help you get there. The first are music production services. Look, we offer full music production, mixing, mastering, and even guitar tracking. Look, whatever you need, Unlimited Artistry wants to help you bring your musical visions to life. You can visit the website and begin a consultation as soon as 
today. Go right now if you need something, like please visit the link. <laughs> the second thing that we have to offer at Unlimited Artistry are virtual guitar lessons. Look, these are not just for beginners, but even for experienced musicians as well and everybody else in between. Um, I'll be teaching basic technique, how to use your ear because your ear is your strongest tool as a musician, improvisation and everything I know about tone. Look, learning a new skill helps me stay creative. So why not start today? And since we've talked about being full-time in music and staying creative, a big part of both of those is being organized. I know that a lot of us creatives struggle with staying organized. And that's why we've created the Organized Creative Video Course. In this video course, I'm sharing all the tips, tools, and tricks that I use to keep my life organized on a day-to-day -day basis. Look, we're gonna be talking about using your calendar and organizing your time, even some tools that you can use in your creative process. But look, being a typical disorganized creative is killing your creativity. Go check it out, sign up today, you won't regret it. And the newest addition to all of our offerings, as I mentioned earlier in the episode, is our Junior Producers Coaching Program. Like I said, if you know somebody under the age of 18 um, that has a passion for music production and wants to go forward and, and learn how to do it full time, I wanna link and connect with them and teach them everything that I've learned up to this point. You can visit the link in the description of this episode to sign up and get a consultation going. This will be a crucial step, not just for their career, but for the rest of their lives. Visit the link in the description to sign up today. Y'all, again, thank you so, so much for listening and even celebrating our first birthday with us. For more content, uh, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. There you'll find the Unlimited Labs, these podcast episodes, and a little bit more stuff to help you on your musical creative journey. You can also follow us on Instagram at Unlimited Artistry. You can follow me on Instagram at Izzy underscore Lemons. You can follow us on TikTok at Unlimited Artistry. And you can visit the website for all your Unlimited Artistry needs. That's UNL mtdartistry.com again that's unlmtdartistry.com what that's unlmtdartistry.com look it's a new season but i ain't changed y'all come on <laughs> thank you so so much for listening i will see you next time